Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev, Kev Tech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over some CompTIA A plus questions. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. All right, guys, let's go over this real quick. This shouldn't be a hard exam. I hope not. Let me share my screen and go over this real quick for you. All right, so we are looking at the A plus exam. So we are looking at it, uh, OS installation and upgrade method quiz. So let's go over without further ado. So which of the OS boot methods listed below takes advantage of the network interface? So if you guys don't know anything about um, studying or anything about, let's just say imaging, for example, right? So obviously you could image using a flash drive. I see people do flash drives. Um, but this is going through the network. So it's called it's going to be called Pixie Boot. So Pixie Boot would be the right answer for this one. So what that means is you go into the BIOS, you press F12, and then you enable Pixie Boot on your on, on your computer, and then it allows you to boot to the network, if that makes sense. Using SSCM, using some sort of like third party tool. All right. That's why that's the answer. And then this one says match the OS boot method on the left with the corresponding media type for the drop down list below. So we have our optical disc. This is actually a CD. This would be a CD. So we're gonna, for this one, we're going to select CD, DVD, and Blu-ray. And then we have our external drive. External drive, we're thinking about external drives. We're thinking about eSATA. eSATA are these connectors that allow you to connect to a hard drive outside your computer, basically. So this is going to be eSATA. And then a flash drive, obviously, is going to be a USB. So we're using a USB for that one. And then we talk about netboot, net boot, which if we go previous, I'm not going to go back. If we go back, obviously, netboot is going to be a Pixie boot. So we're going to select Pixie. And then we have our external fix disk, which is going to be a hard drive. So it's probably going to be a hard drive SSSD. And then we have our internal hard drive. So this is going to be probably our partition. And that should be all the answers for this one. Pretty straightforward, not complicated. I hope not. If if you need further explanation, just, you know, you could always let me know or whatever, but that's the answer for this one. So what is the name of an operating system installation type that preserves system settings, personal files, and applications from older OS versions? So obviously a clean install is, is not the right answer. Uh, unintended installation, that's not it. Image the, like imaging a computer, you basically you're imaging the whole thing from scratch. You're putting whatever you want on it when you image a computer. So using SSCM would be an example of that, but we're not doing that. We're doing an in-place upgrade. So what happens is when you do an in-place upgrade, which I, I can't show you on this computer, but basically if you go to your local C drive, um, you'll have a folder called Windows Old over here somewhere. It's not. I'm not going to have it. I'll probably have it when I upgrade this machine that I'm on right now to Windows 11. It should be a Windows a Windows old folder. This doesn't have it because obviously it's a Windows 10 machine and I haven't upgraded it. But basically it preserves your files, your applications, yada, 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 and it's there. Because obviously this is an in-place upgrade. All right. So which which of the following replaced Remedia, uh, which of the following replaced Removal media used for reforming, reformatting hard drives and restoring an operating system to the original factory condition. So it's basically saying, um, what 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 uh, what can you do in your operating system to recover it back to the factory condition? And obviously that's the recovery partition. It has that capability of doing that. So we're going to select recovery partition. A type of Windows installation that erases the entire contents of a targeted partition is called what? So this is not a refresh. In-place upgrade does not erase everything because you still have your old files. And repairing an installation does not, it's not part of that. So a clean installation would be the right answer for this one. Which of the installation types listed below provides a simpler, less costly alternative to manually install installations uh, OS installations in an environment consisting of multiple hosts requiring the same configuration settings. So obviously this is going to be image deployment. Like people now nowadays use uh, SSCM. Um, I don't want to say back in my days, but back in my days, you know, we, we use Norton Ghost. You know, it's whatever floats your boat or whatever works for you. But we we gonna go with with that one. Okay. Um, Windows repair installation 
does what? Select three answers. So I hate questions like this because you have to have you have to select the best answers. So obviously it's going to be does not affect user application. We can do a repair, preserve application configuration settings, and does not affect user files. Those are the three answers for this one. And it says, which are the following enable installation of OS through the network interface? Remember, we talked about this. Obviously, one of them is going to be Pixie Boot. Uh, GP update is boot policy. It has nothing to do with that. Uh, GPT, nope. This part is this part is basically one of the commands for command line. So it has nothing to be that. So um, when boot, net boot. So net boot and Pixie Boot would be the right answer for this one. This is select two. Um, devices that are not detected during the operating system Installation process may require loading alternative third party drivers. This the answer is true for that one. So when you go to the device manager, um, okay, and you have like a like a uh, you have a driver that's missing, right? Like for example, let's just let's just pick a, a driver, just in a hypothetical example. Um, this one, right, is the NVIDIA driver. Um, usually what I do is I go to I go to hardware ID and typically I copy the hardware ID and then I literally copy and paste the hardware ID and basically put it on Google and it'll tell you what, what hardware, it will tell you what the, what are you missing for that hardware ID? Like this one is missing the drivers or something like that. So this is, this is like driver, this is a driver question. Basically, if, if you don't have the drivers, how do you get it, right? So basically you're going to a third party, you're going through a website, you're going to the manufacturer, and that's how you're getting the drivers, if that makes sense. So that's why this is the answer. It may require you loading third party drivers from somewhere, from like a website or something. All right, next question. Which of the sources listed below, below allow for obtaining, installing, and updating device drivers used for Microsoft Windows OS? Select three answers. So we have Windows Update, uh, we have device manufacturer and we have Windows device manager utility. So these are the only ways to update a device driver. I remember, I just went over device manager, like literally just a few seconds ago. So device manufacturer will be go to their website and you download the drivers from there. And then Windows does have Windows updates that affect the driver. So this is going to be the right answer. These two are not the right answer. Which of the, what are the advantages of, of organizing hard drive space into multiple partitions? So you have the option to do multi boot. So what that means is you're able to go into multiple operating systems on your computer if you separate the operating system. So when we think about operating systems, we think about um, our, let's just say, I'm gonna open up computer manager, think about our partitions on our disk management, right? And obviously you, I have multiple partitions here. So if I wanted to, I could create another partition here and, and you know, obviously format it and change it and create another letter. Basically, that gives you the advantages of basically uh, making another operating system. So you could add Windows 10 and 11 or Windows 7 or on, on one machine with the same hard drive. You just create multiple partitions. So that's why I selected multi-boot as one of the answers. Uh, separate disk space used for virtual memory is correct. Um, separation of user files from the operating system applications. This is going to be correct, too, because it does that. And that's the answer for that one. Um which of the following answers? Which of the following answers refers to a unique string of characters used to identi identify hardware, software, and data? So it's going to be uh, GUID, and you're probably wondering like, what the hell is GUID. So if we do that, that is that's going to be the right answer. But it, it's I'm not sure why it's not giving me the right answer for that, but. I know that's the right answer for that question. All right, which of the answers listed below describe the characteristics of an MBR partition style? So legacy BIOS is going to be one answer. Maximum disk size limit of two terabytes is the other answer. And overall number of partitions limited to four is the answer. So not going to be all these other ones. Which of the following answers refers to GPT? So GPT definitely supports the disk larger than two terabytes, um, up to 128 primary partitions. Uh, and then UE UEFI BIOS is the answer for that one. So then it's like reverse this time with the answers. And then it says here in the GPT disk 
agriculture, each partition is labeled with a unique identifier known as the GUID. Yeah, there we go, unique identifier. Cool. Yes, this is true. Yeah, it's going back to that other other question. That makes sense. All right. Um, quick format. So what, are, what does quick format actually do? Select three answers, right? So a quick format does not erase all the data. Remember, if you do a... a if you do a full format, it will erase all the data. A quick format still has some of the data on the com on the on the hard drive, if that makes sense. So this is going to be one of the answers. Does not check the drive for bad sectors. It's going to be another answer. Requires less time than the full format. So it's going to be the other answer. So now full format would be the opposite, right? Vice versa, it would be opposite. So this one is going to be erase all data to prevent recovery. It definitely requ requires way more time to erase because it's trying to delete everything on the on the hard drive, and it's definitely going to check for for drive for bad sectors. It does that, uh, and it says here a list of computer hardware proven to be capable with a particular OS refers to what? What is that? So it's a HCL, and we go to HCL, HCL, information technology. Uh, no, that's not the right answer. I just, I literally just pulled up the answer. It's not going to give me the answer. I literally just pulled up the answer. Hardware, hardware, um, something. I don't, I don't remember the, the actual name of it. It's hardware something. That's why this is the answer. Uh, so like if you do this. Power capability, have our capability list. Yeah, there we go. I found it. That's the answer. All right, cool. So how do we do? All right, so we got that one right. That's cool. We got this one. Right. I know this is the answer for that. I wouldn't. I I took this exam before. I knew that was the answer. In place upgrade makes sense. Recovery partition makes sense. Clean installation makes sense. Image deployment makes sense. Repair installation makes sense. Netboot Pixie Boot makes sense. This is true. Windows Update Device Manufacturer, Windows Device Manager. Yep. Multi boot environment, separate desk space, separation of user files. G U I D. G U I D. I can't even talk. G U I D. G U I D is the answer for that one. Legacy BIOS. Maximum disk space, two terabytes. U E I. U E I. BIOS for twenty eight. True. Does not erase data. Does not check the drive for bad. This is a quick format, so it doesn't it doesn't do that. Requires less time than full form. Full format does the opposite. It erases everything. Requires more time. It takes forever because it's erasing everything. Yeah, it checks for bad sectors. Yep, HCL. Oh, so we got all of them right. All right, I'll stop sharing. So that'll be it for me for today. Hopefully this helps you out. Hopefully this helps you pass the exam. If some of these questions are similar to the exam, which is why I like to go over this. With that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday. Take care. Bye.